Just amazing. Young kids all, all also all around the glass. Trying to get a puck from Connor or any other player. Great atmosphere indeed. Well, Beauvillier wore 91 with the Blackhawks, and he snaps one to center on Alexander Carrier. Now Cody Glass. And a save by Soderbloom on the shot by Ryan O'Reilly. Here's Roman Yossi in tight, and Soderbloom got enough of that one to kick it wide. Now Philip Kurashev in transition from Connor Bedard. Kurashev pulls up below the goal line. Bedard fires. Save Lankin and rebound flicked behind the net. Well, great effort there by Kurashev. Get in the zone and then find Bedard in the high slot. This comes on the heels of the Predators on the fly there. Connor is still able to get a pretty good shot. Here's Seth Jones, the former Nashville Predator, with a shot behind the net. This is a, a challenging and physically intimidating fourth line on the ice for Nashville. Hawks trying to take the puck out. Cole Smith, a one-on-one -on -one denied by Soderblom. Tripped up in the aftermath. Or uh, Ryan McDonough, who quarterbacks that second power play unit. This is Ryan O'Reilly down low for Tommy Novak. Luke Evangelista for Philip Forsberg. A shot and a goal. It caught the top crossbar, and that puck was retrieved by Luke Evangelista because that is a Nashville Predators record-setting goal. And that's what Ryan O'Reilly told me before the game about that good traffic in front. Look, Luke Evangelista in front of the net, and, and the awareness to go get the puck. He's pausing the screen, which is a beautiful screen. It's a knuckle puck from the point that Forsberg came back, and you can see that so Soderbergh just kind of pokes at it with his blocker, misses it, the screen had a lot to do with that. Classic and Jones, the defenseman. Classic takes the hit from McCarron, and the puck loose at the Blackhawks' blue line. Now Cole Smith for Sherwood, pumps one right into the mitt. That is Vangelista in their last game against the Winnipeg Jets had for 12 attempts, 10 shots on goal. Here's Anthony Beauvillier for Evangelista. There's one shot on goal. The blocker saved by Soderblom on Evangelista. You, know, you forget that Evangelista's still a rookie. His name doesn't get mentioned at all in the Calder Trophy conversation. That one fired from Luke Shen into the mitt of Arvid Soderblom. The, the number's certainly not up to par with, with Connor Bedard. Nick Foligno back in the lineup after missing the St. Louis game. Polino will certainly help with the board and stick battles that you talked about, Panger. That's kicked aside from Classic. He's getting some touches in that area as well. First year pro, 66 games with the Rockford Ice Hawks. Here's Jason Dickinson for Slager. And a save by Lankinen. And a shot from Shen off the glass. Whacked by Bedard. Glass taps it for Stastny, but Bedard finds it. Threads one for Kurashev. Kurachev for Felino. Here's Nick. And a save by Lankinen. Lankinen sharp on a couple of those pucks. They're just ahead. You just get your stick on it and just kind of poke it. Try to re redirect it a little bit. There's an easy save right there on Novak. But Magna on the back of his blade for Entwistle. Intercepted by Sissons. Korczynski, the good poke check. Sissons. Save. Soderblom. Rebound cleared by Megna. Stastny now for Sherwood. Puck stuck just off the paint. Stastny slides it to Shen. Shen a shot knocked down by Megna. Scramble for the loose puck and Sherwood scores. 2-0 Nashville. Well, the Hawks had a couple of chances just to get that puck out of the zone. A big play in the game. A sustained pressure. Keeping the puck around. Look at the Nashville Predators end up with Shen's shot. It's a loose one right there, and then Kiefer Sherwood just... Anthony Beauvillier. Oh, good play by Andreas Athanasiu, and it gives Ryan Donato a breakaway. Donato misses the net. Rebound behind the net. And whistle falls, drops his stick. Here's Michael McCarron. Welcoming those Blackhawks fans and right on cue a Nashville Predators goal from Philip Forsberg who has his second of the night a, a rude welcoming to our fans who are with us on NBC Sports Chicago For the for the Hawks to whack it out and the second attempt by Korczynski does it the puck squirts right back to Forsberg You, you can see right here on the flip in right here. It's handled by Korczynski, but 
But give Sherwood uh, credit. He, he was the one that got it to Korczynski first. And, and then trying to trying to kind of deke around right there is, is Kurashev in a pretty dangerous area. That's right there. He's trying to bring it on the back end of his forehand. And Forrester just he just jumps in and he just swats at it. And Evangelista is trying to act like he's going behind the net and then flip it out in the same direction that he just came from. But good hand-eye coordination there by Jones to knock that out of midair. Over halfway through the Connor Bedard minor penalty, Jason Zucker, what a move and a goal! Jason Zucker adds to the Predators' lead. Well, Zucker's always had a tremendous amount of speed and never afraid to drive hard to the net. And you can see once he gets beyond Murphy right there, now he protects the puck and he goes to the backhand and made this one look easy. And it's quite apparent that the goaltender, as he goes to the backhand there, doesn't read it coming off the blade. It was a little on edge, a little bit. Jones for Kurashev. Back door looking for Johnson. Bedard picks it up. McCarron, Fabro, and Shen, the defenseman in the penalty kill. Kurashev, he scores! Hawks will still be on a power play. They get one back on Philip Kurashev. He'd only gone three games without a point once this year. The last two he didn't have any, but here he wheels to the very top right there. He's waiting for 23, and you can see the setup right there and the shot. Kurashev gets a lot on this one-timer right there. It's about 91 miles an hour, Chris. So, I mean, he got a lot on this one right here. And Bedard, you know, he's going to lure a lot of players towards him because everybody has to respect his shot. And from this point on, the defenseman Shen saying to the goaltender, you got this one from the angle, but it overpowered the glove of Lankinen. Off a good pass. Here's Del Mastro with 23 seconds to go in the frame. Kurashev, the entry. Kurashev for Connor Murphy. Murphy, Johnson, what a stop by Lankinen. Oh, oh, oh. Holy jumping, what a save is right. To go to make it a 4-2 game. What a play from Connor Murphy. Oh! Johnson gets it on the backhand. He never gets it to the forehand. It just slides off the blade, and he's trying to whack it the second time. And maybe if he does, Lankinen can't get a hold of it. Oh, boy. Predators biding their time. Evangelista, shot blocked. Loose. Yossi. Over to Evangelista. Evangelista down low for O'Reilly. Backdoor. Score. Philip Forsberg. Has a hat trick. What a pass this is. From tight quarters, been in a one-time position. This puck's close to the feet of the goaltenders. And you can see number 90, O'Reilly, ends up sliding over to the left. And uh, you can hear it in, in my right here, the celebration from the Predators bench. And I thought that maybe Soderblom would, was going to be able to get a stick on this one right here. He does extend it, just not far enough. It goes off the pad. I thought I heard the thud of the puck off the pad. But it had enough on it to go into the net. This is a heads-up play there by Ryan O'Reilly to put right on the right hand. Reichel looking for the puck. And Reichel tries to move it along. It pops up in the air. Here's Fabro blocked by Lucas Reichel. He turns on the Jets. Lucas Reichel save Lankinen. Uh oh, he's trying to get Lankinen to move to his left and raise the stick. You know, we always are organized with these little cards of mine. Very organized. Five-one, the final.